In this most amazing counterintuitive trick, we will see that the fastest way to descend is not vertically or obliquely but along this curved path. And two marbles placed in this curved path reach the bottom of the curve at the same time. Amazing! Let's explore some more. And to make this curve, we make a small hole at the end of a 3D. We'll stick a paper on the wall, insert a sketch pen in the small hole and roll the CD on the floor next to the paper. Thus, we trace the path of this hole and this is called a cycloid which is basically path of a point on a circle if it moves along a straight line. And our track is an inverted cycloid. In this track, all the marbles take the same time to reach the bottom no matter where they are on the track. Taking same time to cover different distances. Interesting. Now let's make this oblique track next to the cycloid such that they are both of the same heights and if we race the marbles along these two tracks let's see which one wins and thereby we will prove that the fastest way to descend is along the curve and not vertically or along a oblique line as you see in this slow motion the marble that's along the cycloid wins than the marble on this oblique path. And since the laws of physics say that it takes the same amount of time to fall vertically or obliquely along a straight line, the fastest way we have proved is along this inverted cycloid. So have fun racing marbles on this cycloid track.